Hey guys, Reed here. Today, we're going to explore a creative way to utilize bookmarks to seamlessly navigate between hierarchical time perspectives across multiple visuals. Like so many of my videos, this idea came about from a recent client request, and bookmarks were the best solution that I found for this scenario. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI Desktop, where I'll show you both the problem and the solution. So the initial problem the client had was he had a report page that had various time perspectives on it. In this example, I'm just using quarter, month, and day, but the end user didn't want to have to come in individually and switch here and here and so on, all the way down for each single visual, because that's four different clicks or five or six clicks that would have had to be made every time they want to switch the page from different time perspectives. Instead, what they wanted to have was a series of buttons at the top, which would allow them with a single click to navigate between each perspective, in this case, quarter, month, and day. And you can observe that here. If I go up here and select day, you'll see that it pops down to the day level, or the month level, or the quarter level. So one single button that lets them toggle between all of these. And in this video, what I want to show you how to do is set up the bookmarks to allow for this navigation. Now you might notice as well that I have some fancy buttons that kind of pop in and out as I do this and change color. The goal of this video isn't to talk about how to format the buttons themselves, but I do have another video on this that talks about the various states that you can set per button. And I'll link you to that over on the right and then down in the description. But for this video, let me focus on how to create the bookmark buttons themselves. So I'm going to come over here to the bookmarks pane and you'll notice that I have three bookmarks over here for quarter, month, and day view. Now the way that I've created this, let me just go ahead and create one as an example. Let's say I wanted to create the quarter view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open my selection pane, and this part's important. I'm going to go open up two of my groups in here. I'm going to open up my date buttons, and I'm going to open up my visuals. And again, what I have here is actually two versions of each button, a selected and a non-selected version. You can see that there's, there's buttons for that for quarter, month, and day. Again, I'm not going to go too much into the details of these, but essentially I have a light version and a dark version. That way, when I toggle these, the selection of those changes, and it basically toggles that button as looking like it is active, indicated by those little eyeball icons here and whether or not it is shown or hidden. So for the quarter view, if I was to start from this perspective, what I want to do is I would want to make sure that the hierarchy is moved to that level for any of these. And I'll actually even just do the month level. So I'm going to go ahead and go to next level, go to next level. So I'm going to anchor these to the level that I want. If I wanted to create the month view bookmark, and I'm also going to make sure that these are toggled correctly. So it is in this case, I want the month one showing. So I'm going to toggle the selection here. There we go. Now that quarter selection is unchecked. That month selected is checked here. There we go. And I'm going to select only the buttons. And then I'm going to make sure that only the four visuals that I want to affect with this bookmark are selected. This is really important because I don't want my bookmark to accidentally make other changes to other visuals on the page, especially if I don't want them to be adjusted or touched at all by the bookmark. I'm going to select add. There we go. And bookmark four, we can go ahead and just call this month view test. There we are. And a couple of things we want to make sure that are checked in here. Make sure that it's not selected on all visuals. We want to instead select selected visuals. There we go. And for the hierarchy itself to change, the one thing that has to be toggled is data. And that's why it's important to do selected visuals, because data can also affect filters and other things. But it also affects the hierarchy levels. So that needs to be checked. Display needs to be checked because that determines whether or not these can be toggled as far as whether or not they are hidden or not hidden. And then current page, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I don't really care if it navigates to this page or not. But these are the things that we need to make sure that are selected. So now if I go to quarter view, it pops back there. And if I go to that month view test, it toggles my selection here at the top with that display option that was checked. And it toggled the data perspective for all of these as well because that's what was still checked for those, and because I had selected those visuals. And that's really about it. You just need to make sure to toggle the level of the hierarchy that you want per visual. And then in this case, if you're doing any kind of fancy buttons at the top as well, to make it nice and smooth between them two, especially with those light and dark options. Again, I'm not walking through the button configurations, but I will link you to the video either on the right pane or below that talks a bit about how to apply those settings to make them pop out and be more interactive in that way. But the end goal really with this solution is simply just to reduce the number of clicks for the user. 
it's much easier for a user to be able to select from this level than it is to have to go through and select one at a time. So anytime you can figure out a way to use bookmarks to kind of group actions like that, it's very beneficial to do that for the end user. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.